Good morning everyone and welcome to St John the Baptist West Byfleet. Please stand for our opening hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy.
Reading is taken from the second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13. Finally, brothers and sisters, farewell. Put things in order. Listen to my appeal. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. This is the word of the Lord. This is 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And by whom he is. 
we come to understand him as the only begotten Son of God, given to us because God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that who should believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Love, what kind of giver gives such a gift in love? If we accept this great gift and acknowledge the threefold name of God, we see the world through Jesus, a world governed by God, the way that leads to the truth and the life. The conviction of this belief allows us to call out to Abba, to Father, and in that calling is the Spirit placing the words of Jesus into our hearts and mouths. We call God Father because Jesus called him Father, and the Spirit gives us that name to say. Where did the phrase Son of God come from? Perhaps from the disciples when they heard him pray to his Father and they saw and recognised the intimacy, the familiarity, the authority of a Father. God is the one whom Jesus called Father. Jesus is the one whom God called Son. The power that enables us to see and confess this is called the Spirit. It begins and ends in Jesus. The belief in God as one and three, as Trinity, stems from the starting point of Jesus and flows back to him. Would you like to know your Lord's meaning? asks Julian of knowledge. Know it well. Love was his meaning. Who showed it to you? Love. What did he show you? Love. Why did he show it? For love. Who, what, why? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Three in one, one in three. And finally, for those who love their eight memoirs, think on this. One plus one plus one equals three. One times one times one times one equals one. Amen. Stand and join with me in affirming our faith in the words of this great Trinitarian statement, the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified and of Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated on the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord of the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, 
The peace of the Lord be always with you. The offertory hymn is How Shall I Sing That Majesty Which Angels Do Admire?
have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The first Eucharistic prayer, prayer A. The Lord is here. Is here. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. And now we give you thanks because you have revealed the glory of your eternal fellowship, of love with your Son and with the Holy Spirit, three persons, equal in majesty, undivided in splendour, yet one God, ever to be worshipped and adored. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. 
we look for the coming of your kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith.
join together in the first post-communion prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen.